What's going on guys? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, we're doing another Hidden Gems video on Madden 23 covering linebackers. As most of you probably know at this point, we're going to try to differentiate between edge rush players and actual roaming linebackers. And so today's video is going to be geared more towards those roaming linebackers, which would be your 4-3 outside and middle linebackers and your 3-4 middle linebackers. We're going to pull players from all three, you know, right outside left outside and middle linebacker positions that could be utilized in any of those regards as a roaming linebacker so we'll refer to them as middle linebackers in this video i may refer to them as right outside left outside but nonetheless you know what type of linebacker we're talking about here these are your guys that are going to go sideline to sideline making tackles and cleaning up plays not necessarily rushing the passer for you before we jump into the video please leave a like on the video there are a lot of you guys that uh, that watch these videos that don't leave a like and don't subscribe i'd really appreciate if you guys would start doing that to help drive the youtube algorithm because we know that youtube can be finicky with those sorts of things so your help is greatly appreciated link is in the description to my patreon if you want to support the channel in other ways and as always like i said make sure you guys leave that feedback down below without further ado let's jump into some hidden gems linebackers for you though on madden 23 we're not going to have to go far to get the first entry on this list and that is linebacker devin bush on the pittsburgh steelers the reason that i'm including him on this list is because the steelers seem to be potentially moving on from him this offseason he is towards the end of his rookie contract so you might be able to get him off of the steelers steelers users people that are familiar with the team may be looking to move on from him he He's not going to cost you a ton because his overall isn't super high, but he is an excellent athlete, an excellent user middle linebacker, somebody that can lurk the middle of the field and get a lot of interceptions, make a lot of plays for you, and has the ability to really go sideline to sideline. I also want to give you guys a little bit of a sleeper pick here that is not typically within the realm of my traditional boundaries, and that is Dion Jones, the middle linebacker that is currently on the Browns in this roster. He came over from the Falcons. He has been a superstar or star linebacker for a very long time within Madden, and I very much still believe he has that capability, and they're just giving him a low rating right now. So as a 77 overall and 27 years old, yeah, he's on the tail end of his productive years of his career at least in Madden anyway but he comes in with fantastic athleticism and he comes in with pretty good attributes in every other category as well to be honest with you there is a strong case here if your league your franchise does player adjustments at the end of the season like a lot of mine do for this guy to go back up to a much higher overall and potentially earn superstar based on his performance this is actually a guy that I just really recently picked up within my most recent franchise with the Tennessee Titans and at a 77 overall he played lights out for my team another really interesting candidate in the three spot here is going to be middle linebacker Ernest Jones I really like this potential candidate and for different reasons than you might think compared to those first two players and that is that this is actually a slower more traditional style of linebacker he's 82 speed he's got good acceleration at 87 but he's 6'2 230 so he's a reasonably sized linebacker good tackling good hit power that type of thing however he's 22 years old and a 74 overall and that's a really good combination normally i think that it would be really hard to get a guy like this off of the rams especially considering their complete lack of depth here at the linebacker position outside of the aging Bobby Wagner but I think that that actually is a big reason why I think Ernest Jones is potentially available number one they already have Bobby Wagner who is a stud middle linebacker one of the best middle linebackers in the league and Ernest Jones is not that typical user roaming lurking middle linebacker that everybody's going to want on their team so on a lot of teams especially in user leagues you're going to see a guy like Ernest Jones kind of undervalued meanwhile I think he can turn into an extremely valuable linebacker because of that age and overall combination even though he's more of a run stopping linebacker number four on this list is going to be Jamin Davis and this one might not necessarily be classified as a hidden gem this is a pretty similar player to Devin Bush again so keep that in mind but this is a player that if you can find a way to get him on your team you absolutely should so I want you to know his name because again this is another player that I've used this year 
here, and he's absolutely OP within Madden 23. You're taking a look at a 23-year-old 76 overall linebacker that has 90 speed, 93 acceleration, and is going to be absolutely perfect for that user linebacker that a lot of people are going to want. Really good tackling to start off, so you know he's not going to miss on tackles. He just needs a little bit of work in other areas. So there's really not a whole lot more to say here other than if you can get Jamin Davis, you really should try to because they're probably going to be a valuable, valuable, valuable middle linebacker, user, lurker on your team. Another one on this list that I really like at the five spot is Akeem Davis Gaither of the Cincinnati Bengals. He's going to be one of the least important linebackers on this team, especially with Logan Wilson being the stud linebacker on this team. So he's potentially going to be available. He's going to be expendable to this team, and that's why he makes this list at a 2475 overall, similar to some of the players we've talked about. He's, again, another really athletic linebacker that's going to be a fantastic user linebacker for you that can definitely go sideline to sideline and do a lot of the things that you want as a buildable linebacker within Madden 23. The sixth spot on this list is going to be Willie Gay from the Kansas City Chiefs, and again, this is a team that could probably use him, so they're probably not going to get rid of him super easily, but if you could find a way to grab him, he's another good addition to your team at 24 and a 74. He's really kind of not going to progress to an elite point at this stage with what he comes in at, but he does have really good athleticism. He can help you get sideline to sideline, which is what you want from these players on this list. And next up on this list in the seventh spot is going to be one of two players. Generally, it's probably going to be Odafe Owe, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's going to be one of him or David Ojabo, because the Ravens have a lot of extremely athletic linebackers at this point, to the extent that they probably can't use them all. I mean, they probably could find spots for them all, but I doubt that they're going to be able to effectively develop every single one of them, and so you might be able to go out and acquire one of these guys for really not that much. Odafe Owe is an interesting one, and all of these guys are interesting because they're generally going to be seen as pass rushers because the Ravens run a 3-4. However, they're not that good of pass rushers, and they are good enough in their other categories that they could be really effective roaming linebackers. You take a look at Odafe Owe, for example, who is one of my favorite players on this list at a 24 75 overall he has that extreme athleticism 89 speed 90 acceleration 87 agility but he also has 80 strength which means he's going to be able to go up against linemen and shed their blocks you just have to get his block shedding up a little bit he's got good hit power good tackling decent play rec and awareness to start with so what's not to like about a guy like Odafe Owe. This guy could come in and play any linebacker position in any defense, and I think that he would be extremely successful for you. So that's why he had to make this list. At the nine spot is going to be Davion Taylor. Davion Taylor is a fantastic potential addition to any team. Now, he's not going to get up to the same levels as the other players we've mentioned on this team, but he is going to be able to fill in at these linebacker positions in an admirable way. He's currently on the practice squad of the Philadelphia Eagles, so he is free to you starting a new franchise. This is a guy that, again, has really good athleticism, but also has good hit power, good tackling, good pursuit to start off with. And that's something you like to see out of a linebacker that's going to be filling in occasionally for your team, or you might be using until you can draft a better linebacker or trade for a better linebacker, whatever it might be. You definitely want this guy on your team as some extremely useful and versatile depth. I really feel like with these final couple spots, I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't at least mention Dante Hightower. Dante Hightower is overlooked in pretty much every single franchise that I have been in this year, but I pick him up in pretty much every single franchise because he is one of the best players you can add to your team for free. Yeah, he doesn't have that athleticism that you really want out of a modern linebacker, but that doesn't matter if you use him appropriately and put him in the positions to succeed. He is a 32-78 overall, so that means that he's going to be decent. He is not athletic, and that means that his other ratings make up for that. Number one, he is a very strong player, a very good run stopper. 84 strength, he's got good awareness, decent play rec to start off with, and he's always going to have good tackling. 
However, the strengths of Dante Hightower are the 93 hit power that he comes in with and 79 block shedding. Turnovers are crucial within Madden, and Dante Hightower, even if you just use him as a user linebacker, can be used to force so many fumbles within this game to make the addition to your team worth it. I love bringing him in, even if I use him as a starting middle linebacker, even though he's slow, and I know I'm not going to be covering all over the field and getting a ton of interceptions but i know that sitting in the middle of the field he's gonna get opportunities to cause fumbles and that is absolutely huge and then like i always say i try to avoid rookie players but with the final spot on this list again i would be doing you a disservice if i didn't make sure you know christian harris Christian Harris out of Alabama is a top-end linebacker prospect for any team within Madden this year. He's a 21-year-old, 68 overall, that starts off with 90 speed, and he's got reasonable size to boot, 6'1", 226. Not going to be the best size at linebacker, but at that age and overall combination, he is pretty much like a first round second round pick at linebacker and what you'd exactly want if you were drafting a linebacker so yeah he is a rookie yeah you're probably going to have a tough time getting him off of a user within a franchise but if the texans are a cpu he's not going to cost a whole lot and he will turn into an elite linebacker for you if not one of the best linebackers in the league i extremely recommend that you go out and get christian harris especially if you're in a cpu league because he will i guarantee you turn into an extremely good linebacker Backer for you. And with that being said, that's our Hidden Gems linebackers for Madden 23. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, leave all that feedback we talked about. Check out my Patreon. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a good one.